What's up guys, my name is Gabe and welcome into the Trojan Blade. We have some major breaking news here as former Mountain West Freshman of the Year and UNLV quarterback Jade Maiava has flipped his commitment from Georgia to USC. This has been a wild recruitment to say the least. Of course, a few days ago he committed to Georgia, but then all of a sudden this morning the rumor started swirling that he was going to flip his commitment back to USC. And what do you know, he's come to his senses and decided to be a Trojan. With the numbers or lack thereof in the quarterback room, adding another guy was an absolute necessity. But to go out and add a player with these kind of traits, this kind of upside, and a full season of FPS football under his belt, needless to say, it's an absolute home run. There's so much to like about Jaden and his game, but before we go any further, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. And if you wanna help support me in an even bigger way and continue to help me do this full time, I do have my Patreon and channel memberships linked down below. Thank you all so much for your support and let's get into this. All right, so when talking about Jaden and what he'll bring to the table, we can't look at stats, we can't look at PFF grades. We're looking at traits. Now, before we go any further, I wanna say I don't believe Jaden will be the starter in 2024. Frankly, he's very raw and will have had very little time in this Lincoln Riley offense. So I don't think we need to view him as our QB next year. That's Miller Moss. This is a backup option and a developmental guy for Lincoln to mold into an eventual Heisman winner because with the amount of talent this kid has, that could very well be in his future if things break the right way. But what traits are we talking about here? First one is size. He's listed at 6'4", 220, prototypical NFL size there. Arm strength, this guy's got a hose. He can make every throw and he makes it look pretty effortless to be honest. Athleticism, this guy can run and he's great in the open field. He also has that natural nose for the end zone when we're in goal line situations. Now, what are the issues that show up on tape? He reminds me a lot of Sam Darnold in the sense that he has two to three plays a game where it's like, what the hell are you doing? I wouldn't use the word erratic, but I would say he can make some crazy choices with the football from time to time. But with his talent and Lincoln's insane quarterback development, I think it will turn him into the best version of himself, which obviously would eliminate those kind of mistakes. Okay, now let's look at the numbers here. Obviously, he was a true freshman last year at UNLV. On the year, he threw for 3,085 yards, completing about 64% of his passes, 17 touchdowns, 10 picks. He also ran for 277 yards and three scores as well. And as a true freshman, those numbers are quite impressive. Nothing that'll make your jaw hit the floor. But again, coming into big time college football as a true freshman is so, so difficult. And the fact that he had a year like that coming in is very impressive. Another important thing here, and it's something we said over and over again when the whole Will Howard, Dylan Gabriel saga was going on, I want whatever quarterback Lincoln Riley wants. I totally get if you're hesitant to buy into his expertise on linebackers or nose tackles, but when it comes to the quarterback position, there isn't a human on this planet I would trust more on their eval than Lincoln Riley. So if Jaden is Lincoln's guy, then I'm in. Now I said that I don't think Jaden will be the starter in 2024. That doesn't mean I don't think he'll play. There will 100% be packages like we see across the country where you bring in the more mobile backup quarterback and maybe run a read option or an RPO or just something that gets the guy's legs moving to stress the defense and put even more pressure on them. So no doubt in my mind that we will be seeing that in 2024. Again, this is a big, big win at a major position of need. Of course, at the moment, we only have two scholarship quarterbacks in Miller Moss and Jake Jensen. So adding that third guy was crucial. And again, adding a guy that has high upside and starting experience is just a home run. Couldn't have done much better here. So major shout out to Lincoln and the offensive staff. And guys, of course, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Jaden? Please let me know down below. And guys, portal season's crazy. There can be breaking news at any moment. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. Again, thank you all so much for being here today. You're all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.